you don't get the show. Well, hmm. The first one is an old school retro game that you know has showed up on tons of lists, and that one's Custard's Revenge. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it's funny because we were reading over like the Wikipedia page on it, and there are just a couple of things that stood out. Just first of all, if y'all don't know, that game came out for the Atari Twenty Six, and it was listed as an adult game. One of the funniest things when I was looking later on when they talk about the controversy, they were trying so hard not to sell it to minors. They were putting it like in the same packages that you would find, like Playboy. You know how sometimes you go and they wrap it in that gray plastic mm-hmm. and they put Playboy on it so that no one can, you know, walk up to the newsstand and watch it. But I like one of the things it says, it says the game literature states, if the kids catch you and, and ask, uh, ask you about the game, you should tell them that Custard and the Maiden – are just dancing. <laughs> so I mean, it's not not only is it a game about basically General Custard, avatar like person, raping a Native American woman, but they even teach you how to lie to your kids about it. <laughs> I mean, what did you think when you when you saw this? Did you ever play it? I never played it. So I I played it in an Atari uh, an emulator and all that. Um, and it's funny because it was like one of those like crazy weird Atari 2600 games, you know? Um, but it was like really, really funny because it's like you're essentially like just trying to get across the screen and you see like an Indian girl tied to like a cactus or whatever the hell it is. And essentially you're Custer and you're butt ass naked. Like literally you're just wearing a cowboy hat. And you're walking across, and you literally have to make it across while like arrows are coming down. And you're trying to avoid that, and essentially you get to the maiden, and you hit the button, and you basically screw the girl. So the point of the game was to get to the girl, start screwing her, then back off as the arrows came, then go back and like get the highest score, as it were. And as you, I think like once you hit a certain amount of points, like the arrows started coming down faster or whatever, or you could adjust that and all that. So it was crazy. It was funny as hell. Though. Yeah, I mean, so this game was released by Mystique. And pretty much the idea is that it's supposed to be based off of uh, George uh, Custard, actually. And the idea is, is that you're trying to ha- basically rape, because it even says that, in, in the game that she's not going to take it lying down. So I mean, mm-hmm. this is not someone that's waiting in open arms for you to rescue her. In the game, you're actually supposed to dodge these arrows, get over to her, and then rape her. And I mean, this guy's walking around with an erection. Mm-hmm. She looks like, I mean, kind of the, the worst kind of stereotypical imaging for a, a Native American person. I mm-hmm. mean, look, even people who are always complaining about social justice warriors you, you can't tell me that this is acceptable. And, and, and the funny thing is, is that he was saying that they showed this to like women's groups and, and also Native Americans. And I don't know, like, why would you do that? You know, that's like showing some kind of, you know, slavery game to uh, to the NAACP. It's like, what did you expect? They hated that shit. I, I didn't realize, though, what was interesting when I was reading about the game mm-hmm. is that there was another game, General Retreat, and it says that the woman has to overcome various obstacles to rape Custer. Hmm. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, so I, I guess there's, there's this way to kind of balance it out. But hmm. my question is, what kind of rape? <laughs> you know, like, is she just jumping on top of him and like, you're going to have sex with me? Or is, is it like something more serious? Like, is she pulling out dildos and strap or something? <laughs> Maybe that's a downloadable pack. There you go. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, they actually banned this game out of all places. Think about it. Like Everyone's always talking about liberals and this and that. You would think it'd be banned maybe in New York or L.A. They banned it in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I, I guess there's a point where they're like, bro, even this is too much for us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also like the other. Did you see the, the alternate names for the game? No, I didn't see that. Okay, so the one of the alternate games was Westward Ho, spelled H-O. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one is the White Man Coming. Mm, that's funny. Wow. I mean, damn. I mean, look, you could probably find it on the emulator. They probably even have it on some kind of Flash game by now if you, if you <laughs> want to play it. But good, good lord. 